happy video day guys Christina Brooke here and today I'm actually filming from a completely different room in my house I'm actually in my bedroom because um, my husband's working from home and he took over my office so I relocated to the bedroom hopefully the lighting's okay I did bring two of my lights but I'm also filming with natural light it might be a little different actually who knows maybe some of you guys will like this setup even better but this is gonna be temporary and that's because I really wanted to film this video. Halloween is like literally today, there's probably like four days till Halloween, which is ridiculous. And I have not used the Gather Round Sisters. Like you guys know that last year, I wanted this from ColourPop so bad and it sold out so quickly. And I remember I set my alarm but I did a little error with the translation of time because I'm on the East Coast and ColourPop's West Coast time. And I think they were launching at a certain time and I put my alarm for the wrong time, whatever. I missed it, wasn't able to get it. And then this year they re-released it again and I was so excited. I literally bought it right away and I haven't used it, which is kind of insane. I feel like that's what happens sometimes with these like new releases and stuff. Like we get so hyped for them and then we get them in our house. And I've even talked to some of you guys that have said that you got the brand new release and you were like dying for it. And then like three months go by and you still haven't opened the bag and it's like sitting there still. Yeah. Proof. So anyways, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's this beauty right here. I hope I'm in focus because Let's put on my glasses. Yeah, is that in focus? Sure. It's this really pretty palette right here from ColourPop. It looks just like that inside. Hopefully this is in focus. My eyes, <laughs> my eyes are normally out of focus because I have bad vision from far. So <laughs> when I'm using these small little monitors, I don't know. It's blurry to me, but so is everything else I look at. So I don't know. That is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a fun little eye look using the Gather Around Sisters from ColourPop. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Hopefully what I'll do is something smoky and fun and like Halloween inspired. And if you're new here, hi. I'm Christina Brooke. I would love it if maybe you'd want to hit subscribe and join the family. I talk about makeup and fashion and I like to keep things fresh and new on the channel. I try to introduce new series and new fun stuff. So love it if you would join and let's go ahead. Let's get into this now. All right. So one thing I am not going to be able to control is the sun <laughs> in my studio lights. I can literally keep the lighting the same throughout the entire video, but this is going to be impossible. I don't mind the lighting right now, but that's because the sun is somewhat covered. But anyways, so if you guys do not know, Gather Around Sisters is um, a ColourPop release that they collabed with the infamous Hocus Pocus. So I don't know about you guys, but I was a huge Hocus Pocus fan like huge. I loved Hocus Pocus. I still love Hocus Pocus. Actually, my daughter has watched Hocus Pocus. It's probably not for a four-year-old, but she likes it. <laughs> and I really like Hocus Pocus. It's like one of those movies that I remember every single holiday, every time it was Halloween, right? When Halloween would come up, I would love to watch it. And I think like most of us, if you were like my age, you were in love with Binks, which is the cat but before he turned into a cat. So I used to always watch it, like literally loved, loved that movie and I still do. So when I saw Hocus Pocus collab, I thought that that was awesome. And I will tell you guys out of all of the ones that released, they did another collab this year. I did not like it. I didn't like the colors. I didn't like the sketch art, but last year's was beautiful. I love the sketch art. I love this like ode to like, I love this ode to the Sanderson sisters. I think it looks so perfect. And then I also love that the colors in the palette are based off like their dresses. Like I feel like they did a really good interpretation of like the clothing and including these awesome colors. Like even if this was not a Hocus Pocus palette, I love the colors in this palette. This is just absolutely stunning. I'm gonna show you guys swatches. I believe that if you guys go to Ulta, they're selling these in Ulta. Some Ultas might still have them. Most Ultas probably don't, but you can probably still find this. Okay, so I'm back and if you guys see my little assistant, she'll be popping up in the background because she followed me into the room and now I have my little puppy here. So, so I don't know what I wanna do, but I feel like this has such cool colors. I don't even know where to go. Where do I go? So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with Hello Salem. Oh, that's a cool name. I'm gonna use that one. 
And let's just put that all over the lid. And that's a really pretty color. It has a little bit of like a mauve tone to it. Very subtle, but a very, very nice. I actually feel like this palette is like one of those that you could probably wear it out. Like I feel like this is such a cool palette because it has like so many different looks you could do to it. Like it really is a good palette. Um, I want to use this color. If these colors continue to perform really good, oh my god, this is such a good palette. Like I'm so excited. Like besides it just being like an ode to Hocus Pocus, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to put this in the outer. Actually, you know what? Let's put this all over. Let's do an all over smoky eye. This green is blending okay. Let's see if it builds good because right now it's getting a little bit patchy, but. Look how cool, I really like that shade. It's really, really pretty. It is not covering like the whole lid. Like I feel like there's just a little bit of skin showing there. I will cover it with a metallic, but I think it's pretty decent for the color that it is. It's usually pretty hard to do these greens. That's why you don't see many brands doing it. Let's go ahead and do this eye. So how have you guys been? I'm wondering what everybody's gonna do this Halloween. Is this gonna be another like, you know, stay home kind of Halloween? Are people actually planning things? I know in Florida, we're like very awkward. I think like we're kind of like completely open. Um, but I don't think we'll be doing any trick-or-treating this year, at least not my family. But I do know a lot of people who are actually planning to do actual Halloween stuff. Are you guys doing anything for Halloween this year? Are you staying put? I actually would like to know what everybody is going to be up to. It's so funny how different states are doing like completely different things. Like, it felt very different in North Carolina than it does in Florida, so I was just wondering how is it in your state? Are you guys going to be celebrating Halloween? Is that like off the table? I wanna know from you guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is grab this beautiful green right here and I'm gonna pop that in the center. Ooh, cool, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that green is. I hope you guys can see this good with this new setup right now because I don't have like, this is my zoom lens right now so I'm hoping that you guys can see it good. Cool. What do you guys think? So next, what I want to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of this black color. Just because I kind of want to deepen this, we're going to make it look a little bit vampier, like Halloween-esque. So I'm going to just kind of bring that in the outer V and then bring it up along the crease. This is just to add a little extra oomph. Pretty. I'm liking this palette so far, like a lot. And if you guys are wondering, I'm mostly using my refer brushes. I'm also using some from Bristles Beauty, another brand that I really like their brushes. And this one here is a E03DM from Bristles. I really like this brand as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges here. Such a pretty palette. And then I wanna bring a little bit of that green as well on the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is grab, which brush do I wanna grab? I don't have all my brushes here, but I did pick my favorite ones. One here, and let's go into this green. And maybe we'll grab a little of this color too. So let's start with the green on the outer edge because it's the darker color. But yeah, I kind of feel bad for my daughter because she really got to go, I mean, I guess she had one Halloween that she probably remembers because she was around, I guess she was two and we went trick or treating and everything and she loved trick or treating. But other than that, all the rest of them, she was kind of little, like I don't know if she remembers it, you know? And last year, her third Halloween, she wasn't able to go hollow she wasn't able to trick or treat because there was like no trick or treating at that time and then this year i almost feel like it's going to be like the same like nothing so she remembers the trick or treating that she did a long time ago but she doesn't remember it very good but she remembers it was fun so i kind of feel bad for her you know the other day we were actually 
<laughs> this was so funny because the other day she was talking to me and I asked her, oh, mommy, I was, um, I don't even know where the conversation came up with, but I asked her about a restaurant and she was like, what's a restaurant? I was like, what do you mean, what's a restaurant? We used to go to restaurants all the time, but she doesn't remember. She doesn't remember what a restaurant is. And then I said, do you know the place that they give you food? And she was kind of like, and then eventually she kind of like remembered, but it's so weird. I don't know. It's so different, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this color. I was kind of like, oh my God. You know, coming from before when we were just doing whatever we wanted, it's so strange to think of what these past few years have done. That is a really cool color and look how cool that color looks with the green. I would have never thought that that would have looked as good, but it looks super cool. And it's going with that spooky vibe that I kind of want to do. A little bit of a spooky, but then at the same time, not. And then since the lower lash line got a little bit vampier, I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of this dark coven shade, which is kind of like a black. Just add that. Very cool, look at those eyes. Very smoky and dark and cool. I don't know, I think it's really awesome. So I'm gonna grab back into Yabos. Oh my God, you guys remember Yabos? <laughs> I didn't even notice that if you read all the names, they're named after everything from the movie. I'm gonna have to read them all. Let's see. How cool is that? Okay, so we have Full Moon, Hello Salem, Brew Potion, On Toast, On Toast, I don't remember that, Coven, Come Little Children, that's that song. You know that I didn't even realize that that song was saying like so much by Sarah Jessica Parker? I noticed it the other day. Tis Firm, Tackery, oh, it's Tackery Binks? I thought it was Jackery this whole time. Thackery Binks, oh. Yabos, I call it a bus. <laughs> Wench, Night of Frolic, Dead Man's Toe, Bewitched, and Goodbye Cruel World. Goodbye Cruel World, who said that one? I don't remember that one, but anyways, this is where we're going. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some liner and mascara. We'll do that off camera because I'm really bad at doing that and I can't even imagine doing that sitting on my bed looking in a monitor. So let me, let me do that and I'll be right back. I'm back and oh my goodness, I love this look. I hope you guys can see it good. I am going to kind of zoom myself in <laughs> for you guys. You guys can check out this eye look. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And I don't always like love, like I love, I usually like the eye looks I come out with, but today I'm like obsessly in love with this eye look. Like I wanna go outside and just take pictures with this eye look because I'm so obsessed with it. And it's kind of funny cause I'm not in my studio. So I don't have like all the good lights and everything right now. And um, I love this look more than maybe even the one I did yesterday. So I am very, very impressed with this palette. So I was looking on the website for ColourPop. I didn't see that they have it still in stock, but if I find anything, I will link it down below. They do, they have it online. Oh my goodness, guys. So this is actually available on Ulta online right now. So they did not run out of stock of it. This is so worth it. Oh my goodness, is it so worth it. This is such a beautiful palette. The eye look that I came out with today is one of my favorite looks I've done in a long time. I love the way all of these burgundies look like they're gonna work together. So you could do a really pretty eye using these burgundy section. You can go in this section right here and do an awesome like green inspired eye. This is a beautiful palette, really well curated, awesome textures, really good pigmentation. Yeah, this is such a winner. Honestly, such a winner. And I really wish ColourPop would like do more things like this, that they would come up with like unique color stories that are really, really pretty, that work, that work really, really good instead of just constantly releasing things that we just get tired so quickly. So this was a huge win. So if you guys didn't pick this up and you think like it's a Halloween-y kind of palette, it actually really isn't. It's a gorgeous palette disguised in a Hocus Pocus packaging. And I think that you're gonna really, really love it. And if you are a Hocus Pocus fan, like this is just gorgeous. This is the better, I think, of the two. They released one this year. I think that this one's probably better. Like color story wise, this one just like knocks the other one out of the park. So I would totally go for last year's and it's available at Ulta. I think that that's, yeah, it's totally beautiful. And like you said, look at this eye look. Oh my God, I can't get over it.
And there's even like really gorgeous colors in here. Like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Anyways, that was a treat for Halloween. So actually I can't wait to pull this out again. I'm gonna be pulling this out a lot more throughout the year. This is not just a Halloween palette. Now I probably will use it for Halloween as well, just to be in the mood, you know? I could probably do a really cool smoky eye on Halloween. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys are a huge Hocus Pocus fan and if you guys are picking up this palette. If you did wait on it, I would say get it. Like, I would just say get it. It's $22 and it's beautiful. You might actually even like this one more than some of your high-end purchases that you did this year that were not as creative you might use this a lot more. So I know it was a short little video, but I really wanted to just dedicate a video to this palette because I really wanted it so bad last year. And a lot of you guys wanted to see my thoughts on it. So hope you guys enjoyed. And until the next video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.